Hello, this is Seamus and 7 myww I did another video on uh, on a new TYT 9000D220 mobile rig. I decided while I have the power meter out, I was going to do a power test on the handheld, which is the TH350. Um, great little radio, to be honest with you. I really, I, I was quite impressed with what, what I received for the price. Um, it's, it's, it's a good handheld. And with uh, three bands being a tri-band, can't beat the price that I paid for it, which I believe was about $70. $70. I decided to go ahead and do a power test on it, just to see what its power output is. So with this particular model, um, it is supposed to have... Let's see if I can get this to focus. This is on low power, which I believe is supposed to be a half watt. Let's see what we get when we, uh, when we do it. It looks like it's about three quarters of a watt, and that's uh, on a Daiwa watt meter. Let's change this. I'm going to change that to the next level up, which be high power. There's only two power settings on this. I believe high power is still supposed to be five watts, if I remember correctly. So put that on there, and let's see what that comes up to. It's a little under five, but not by much. Just uh, maybe about four and a half watts. So four and a half watts, and this is out onto a, uh, a Hustler 220 megahertz antenna. And the SWR is, is pretty low uh, on that particular one. It's about 1.2 to 1. So anyway, that is, uh, that's what I wanted to do today was to just test this out. So if you have one of these, I'm curious what your tests brought out and considering it's kind of the standard kind of a norm to have about a half a watt to five watts uh, it's it's a good radio i'm definitely not uh disappointed in this radio at all anyway that is uh that's all from my radio desk today this is n7myw seamus saying 73 and also if you enjoyed this hit the like button maybe subscribe let me know in the comments below what you liked about this and uh if you have one of these or any of these types of radios. Take care.